Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we're going to talk to a brilliant cosmetic dentist who's going to teach us all why going to the dentist doesn't have to be like pulling teeth. Her story just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Okay, I am the first to admit I have had cosmetic dentistry and I swear by it. When I was in high school, my teeth were all jacked up and I was afraid to smile and I get so many compliments on, on my smile. You can only imagine a, you know, a 16 year old boy who, who was like muting his smile, but now I flash this grin for anyone who will, will look at it. Dr. Uh, Perry Hun Tampkin is in studio. She is the founder of Smile Lab Dallas. Thanks for coming on the show. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me here today. Well, I found out just before the show that you and I I have a similar uh, journey. Uh, you, uh, your teeth were not always perfect. Nope, not at all. It was a middle school. I remember very clearly when I was going through that conscious phase. Um, you know, everybody's looking and trying to dress up nice, and I was like, "Well, my smile's not pairing up with my personality." And well, what do I do? But I was so fearful of the dentist because growing up, the stigma is if going to the dentist means getting your teeth pulled out or they're just gonna drill into your teeth and the sound of a drill means like a drill in the wall, you know? And I remember walking to the orthodontist's office and immediately that intimidation was gone because his practice looked like a submarine. And as a child or as a kid, you know, that's, that's huge. There's no smell of ethanol and there are fish everywhere from all around the world and you sit in a, in a um, submarine bay, you know, and um, I remember talking to the orthodontist and I was like, okay, um, whatever you do, don't tell my mom, just don't pull my teeth, just make them look straight. And I remember he's, I think he just played along and he's like, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I'm not gonna pull your teeth out. And the process of going through that um, really was life changing because I, I realized how it impacted my personality. And I wanted to do the same thing for others. I started shadowing him and I started working for him and he became my mentor and he went to NYU and I followed the footsteps. And as a practicing dentist, I can say I change lives mm -hmm. every single day and I live for it. There's not a single day when I don't wake up and I don't love what I do, so. And I love the way your eyes glow when you talk about <laughs> it. You, you and I are both passionate about excellence. And I, to, to exemplify that, let's watch this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Perry Montemkin, and welcome to Smile Bar. So at Smile Bar, uh, we offer everything, we, whether it's crowns, bridges, veneers, the, uh, implants, um, surgical procedures. We do Invisalign, we do whitening, we do uh, cosmetic dentures. Um, in case somebody is not interested in something that's removable, we have fixed prosthesis options. That way, they're more confident in what they're eating and when they're speaking. And it's called All on Six, which is an implant-supported overdenture or implant-supported bridge. She has been my uh, dentist for quite a few years now and uh, she has helped me with veneers, she has helped me with filling, she has helped me with cleaning. And I plan on having a pedodontist to t address concerns for the pediatric patients. That way nobody's left out and everything is being offered in-house for our patients and their families. Every time I go to her I'm very relaxed, she, she has helped me out, my family out. You know, I mean she keeps everybody very relaxed, she's very professional. Very, very professional. To the last, she has to take care of even the minor and the minute thing that needs to be taken care of. Very good in uh, following up, very good with her patients. 
um, very kind, you know, so I mean, that's a, that's a very good thing about her. She makes other person very comfortable because she tries to um, make them more like a friend. Her personality, when uh, you come into the office, she greets you by name. Uh, she makes you feel comfortable. If you feel any pain or anything, she walks through the steps properly so you know what she's gonna do um, for the procedure. With Smile Bar, I think I was just thinking, well, I want to offer different customized smiles and I want it to be this one-stop place for patients where they can feel confident coming in and getting a smile of their choice, you know, like customized just to their personality, facial profile. Her honest assessment of what I needed, I felt like that I could trust her diagnosis for that. I could see me getting my smile back and what that would do for me professionally and personally, so I was excited. I had a problem. Uh, I had a sleep apnea and she did my uh, apparatus that she put in my mouth like a guard. And I am so happy that I don't have a problem now. And before I used to have like some issues, some uh, teeth biting or crunching or something like that, but now everything is fine. There's so much more uh, that goes into creating a smile and I've um, invested so much in education. And so when they come in, we take photographs, we take models, we sit down, we come up with a treatment plan that allows us to create a very harmonious smile just tailored to them. And I know for better or for worse, we do judge people by their smile these days. I watch sometimes Hollywood movies and uh -huh. I'll see a Hollywood actor whose teeth are dingy and I'm like, come on. Come on, or crowded. <laughs> right, yeah. So does that drive you crazy when you're... When it, you're... It, it does, but I feel like I, I've spent so much time understanding my patients and I understand there's so much trauma to it. Um, and so I see kids, um, you know, the type of dentistry I do, it's more fun to do adults, it's more fun to do cosmetic dentistry, but I really like to see children because it helps me change their perspective about dentistry, going to the dentist, and how I can help them improve their oral hygiene and understanding, like, for example, I'll be like, hey, you know, if you leave food out on the table, are you gonna eat it in the morning? And they're like, no, oh, that's gross, and I'm like, Exactly. So if you leave it between your teeth, what's going to happen? And they're like, oh, you're right. So I just make it fun and you know, exciting. And, but I think there's such a huge element of fear of going to the dentist that I understand it. But I wish I could change the change it for everybody. <laughs> sure. Well, and I wish, um, I wish everybody had the same gift because uh, kids are getting bullied. I mean, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I and yep. I, I forget what name they called me, but I knew that. Um, yeah, there's yeah. buck teeth, there's yeah. mud mouth. We have a patient who's amazing. Um, it, like, I have a ceramist in house, and he does. He lectures around the world. He's so passionate about that. And there's so much art that goes into layering a tooth and creating veneers. And um, he had um, congenital disease, and so his teeth looked brown and spotted and. We changed his smile and after, I mean, he was in his 40s, but he got bullied his whole life, you know, and to a point where he has now done some amazing things in his life. He's so accomplished. He's one of the uh, jujitsu champion and, you know, even financially, it, they say the day you change your smile, it just, you, I guess you become very confident and you start believing in your vision because you can see the person you want to be. And so these patients who I change lives for, they do end up going out and changing their lives. And it's, it's amazing to watch. And I love it that you do the design in-house. We've got a little video from TikTok. I want you to narrate this. What are we looking at? So this is a patient. She came in. She, she's had bad teeth since she was eight. And she said her dad had no knowledge, got her teeth pulled out. As an adult, she went to a dentist. They did a porcelain fused metal bridge. But same thing, there's so much physics and design that goes into teeth, and we changed everything. We did Invisalign on the bottom, because that's conservative and healthy, and on the, on the top, because all the dentition was failing, we did something called that's called all-in-four, mm -hmm. um, and that's an implant-supported prosthesis. You don't have to wear dentures. It's not the gold standard. It's not healthy. Um, people don't taste their food, and so this allows them to function 
as naturally as possible and they don't have to worry or be conscious about anything falling out. And, so. and you're an artist. I mean, I've seen some cosmetic dentistry, like I'm gonna use uh, Gary Busey as an example. Yeah. Gary Busey, the actor, his teeth are too big for his mouth. Uh -huh. And so there's, do you consider yourself an artist? I do, I really do. Um, there's so much that goes into it and you know you can have a narrow tunnel vision where you're just looking at teeth but the truth is you want to look at everything and when you come to my practice we're we're designing everything around your face you know there's there's measurements that are based off from the distance from your eyes your nose you know how you function how you speak uh, we spend hours with our patients and we evaluate when they're speaking okay is this position correct or not how is it affecting their phonetics um, when they smile? Is it enhancing and supporting everything, lifting the lips up? And is, as women or as men, it, sometimes we don't think about it, but it, everything goes into it. Um, and that's truly how you're going to achieve that more youthful, younger appearance. But you want to remember that there's so much more to it, like function. So whatever you invest in needs to last a lifetime. Um, I believe the worst thing is like construction work, you know, or a, or a bad contractor. Uh, you don't want to pay twice because that's more expensive. Right. So if you're going to do it, you're going to do it right. You're going to invest in yourself and make sure that your investment is going to last a lifetime. What does it so. feel like to change somebody's life? I mean, you, I know you have these conversations <laughs> when, they, when they see it for the first time. Uh, they cry and we cry. <laughs> it's beautiful. It, it, it's, it's amazing. And um, I've... I've actually been practicing 18 years, but my practice is only two and a half years old. And when they come in with their stories of, on, uh, and share why they want to change their smile, like I had a patient who said, you know, I try to lose weight, I look, try to look sexy, but you know, I wish my spouse would see me the way I want to be seen. And that really touched us. And I remember we just did a mock-up, and, and basically what a mock-up is, is uh, you get to try on your smile, um, like trying on a dress. So we showed her what she could look like, and she started tearing up, and she cried and cried, and she said, I have gone my whole life with this work that was done, and it didn't match, and any time I said, well, it doesn't look right, they said, no, it's fine. Um, and I said, no, it's not fine. You're, this is, it's like, if I'm gonna get something, I need to be happy. I need to make sure it's worth, worth everything. Um, my patients are sitting and they're they're investing their emotions into it, um, their time, finances, and just the physicality of being there. The, it takes time. You cannot take take it for granted. Sure. You know, you want to give them the true value of what they're investing in. I believe best investment you can possibly make. I know people who drive a hundred thousand dollar car, mm -hmm. and only a certain number of people are going to see that car. But yeah. everybody sees your smile. Yep, yep. It's um, it, it. Like I said, it's it's an investment. You know, there's there was a research done many years ago, and after your eyes, the first thing everybody looks at is your smile. Wow. You know, you're talking to people all day long. You want to you want to smile with confidence. You want to talk with confidence. You have been an amazing guest. We only have about a minute left, so final thoughts. What would you like to leave the audience with? Um, <laughs> like I said, uh, you don't have to be scared of the dentist. You know, come to our practice. You'll see a huge difference. Um, give us a chance to create a journey with you where we can change not just your life, but help you prevent the fear and take care of uh, your body and create in such a way where it's, it's improving your health systemically through your smile and building your confidence. Outstanding. You've been a great guest. We're going to end with her website, which is smilelabdallas.com. Dr. Tampkin, thanks for coming on the show. Of course. Thank you again. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.